So welcome to Whippoorwill Holler. I'm Miss Lori and this is Mr. Brown. We live in the hills of Arkansas. We love the Lord. Keepers of the old way, but accept some of the new. We love to cook and we love to eat. We love to garden. It's in our blood. It's how we stay sustainable and fill our pantry. We do a lot of canning and preserving. We live a sustainable life. We love our family. We work hard. And every once in a while, we like to dance. So y'all join us. Hi guys, and welcome back to my kitchen. If you're new here, this is Whippoorwill Holler Homestead, and I'm Miss Lori, and you are in one corner of my kitchen. <laughs> I'm so glad you are here with me. Today we're going to be making some little pecan tarts. And I'm going to be making these out of the pecans that a few videos ago, my oven's ready, um, y'all watched me pressure can pecans. And I had a lot of comments on it. People just were really unsure about it. It does work. I'm, I'm never going to do this or put anything on my shelf or put anything on here that doesn't work. Now, it works for me. Is it an approved method? It used to be years ago, and they stopped doing it. But it's approved by hundreds and hundreds of, of people that, that's done it in the past years and are doing it now, and it works. But if you're unsure of it, don't do it. But it works for me. The pecans are good. You toast them before you can them, and it dries them out really good. So I'll leave that link below in the description box uh, for y'all to go, and you can go back and watch me pressure can pecans. It doesn't take very long. The toast and the pecans is, you know, it, that takes more time than pressure canning them. But it's a, it's a method that you can do on just about any nuts. You can do it on... Uh, just peanuts, walnuts, anything like that, and it works. So anyways, go back and watch that, that video. And what I wanted to do is I didn't want to open this jar up until I started the video because I wanted y'all to see that they are, they are good and sealed. There's not been any moisture in there at all. I know a lot of y'all had a lot of questions. How in the world does it stay so dry in there when you're pressure canning them and there's three quarts of water in the pressure canner. It, it just works. So if you do do it and you take your jars out and there's any moisture in there, you're going to have to redo the whole process. But I've not ever had it not to work. So anyways, do you hear that? You heard how good that was sealed. Now I opened a jar of these a while back because I think I was in the mood for like Cookies are something I could not remember, and I ended up eating the, I mean, not the whole jar at one time, but they were just so good that I just ended up eating them, not making nothing out of them. I don't know if you can hear the crunch. There's no moisture in these pecans. And because you toasted them, they're just so good. So this process does work. And I've got a bunch of pecans put up that I pressure can, and I got more to do still. Anyways, I'm spitting out pecans here, trying to talk and eat. I'm going to chop up a whole cup of those to put in my tart. Now, there is no Cairo syrup, but there is brown sugar. And I can't get these nuts chewed up fast enough. <laughs> so... I know a lot of people don't like using Cairo syrup, so you don't have to worry about it in this recipe. I'm going to be making them in little tarts. You can make them bigger than that. I'm going to show you how I'm fixing to do it. I'm going to be using just a regular pie crust. And I've got this little, it's what I make the, when I make little tea biscuits and stuff. 
I bought this at a flea market, but you can use anything you want that'll work that will cut the size that you need for your little tart pans or your little muffin pans, whatever you're going to be making your little tarts in. And I'm going to be using my little, it's a, it's a little muffin pan, but for making tiny muffins, but it's, I use it mainly for making little tarts. And this is about the size I need to fill the little tart pan. Okay, I want to show y'all the little tart pan that I've got here. It's a tiny, you can make tiny muffins in it, little tarts, whatever. But if you're not wanting to make them this small, you can just use a regular uh, little muffin tin that you make muffins in. That way you can make them about the size of your palm like you'd buy at the store or something. And uh, it just, these are just so good for a little snack or for a party, appetizer, anything like that. We love pecans and we love pecan pie. Pecan pie, it's so good, but it's really rich. And these little things, you can just grab one, pop it in your mouth, and you're pretty satisfied with a little bit. So this is a really good thing to make. I think you'll really enjoy them. And these things freeze really good, too. So you can make a bunch of them up, freeze them for, you know, maybe some party or a shower, a baby shower, wedding shower, something coming up. You can do it at Thanksgiving or just any holiday. But they're so delicious. But anyways, this is how I'm going to be doing mine. 350 oven. There's not a whole lot of ingredients. Our first ingredient is going to be uh, four eggs. Now, you're going to put these eggs in your bowl, but you're not going to beat them. You know, most recipes tell you put your eggs in the bowl and beat them good. Then we're going to put three whole cups packed of uh, brown sugar. I know that sounds like a, that's a lot of sugar, but you have to remember we're not putting any Cairo syrup in here. So we got our eggs, brown sugar. We need four tablespoons of melted butter. This little contraption I'm using here, this is called a tovalo. And I got this off Amazon. I think this, this was a set. But one side is this little curved spatula thing that's so good for so many things. And then you got the flat one on this side. And I use this thing all the time. It may even be in my Amazon store. I'm not sure if I put it in there yet. So we need a pinch of salt. There's a pinch. We need a teaspoon of vanilla. good vanilla and we need a cup of chopped pecans now we're just going to stir this up good and this is going to be your filling for your little tarts and this is going to make quite a few I believe the recipe said it's been a while since I even looked at the recipe in the book. I think it says it makes 24. I'll see. We'll see how many it makes. You can see it makes quite a bit of filling. And it looks like what you would put in a pecan pie, pretty much. So I'm not going to over stir it. Now I'm going to bring my, <clears throat> my little tart pan over here, and we'll start filling the, the tart shells. Now the tart shells are not pre-baked. They're going to bake right along with your, your filling. Okay, I got most of my little tart shells filled, but I wanted to show y'all, it takes about a tablespoon of the filling to fill one of these little tarts. Now I don't know bigger size what it'll take but if you're making them bigger you, you'll figure that one out now I think I've not made these in a while and I'm thinking that last time I or any other time that I made them I put more than a cup of pecans because I'm looking at this and I 
I wish I'd have chopped up more pecans. So I'm going to say you can put in another half to another whole cup of pecans, and it's not going to hurt it one bit. That way you get pecans, a lot more pecans in them. But I've got enough filling left over to do this one more time. You can use any kind of crust. Um, I've got a really good cream cheese uh, crust for, you know, little appetizers like this. Just use any kind of crust you want. You can even use a store-bought crust if you want to. But this is going to go in a 350 oven for about 30 minutes and uh, till I just cook through and uh, be good. I might check them probably after 20 minutes because sometimes stuff in my oven gets done a little bit quicker than others. And you can tell this one right down here, I got too much filling in. So you don't want to put too much in there. You don't want to go over the side like that one did. But I'm going to get them in the oven and then we'll look at them when they come out. Okay, here's our little tarts, and it's going to make about 24, 26 of them. I'm going to say you're going to get at least 24. Now, if you make them bigger than this, <clears throat> I'm not sure how many you're going to get, because any time I ever made them, I made them tiny like this, because they're just a good little finger food, and uh, I can tell you I done ate three of them. <laughs> so, I've got some cooling off, too, trying to get them out of the pan. Make sure, if you don't have a non-stick pan, that you spray them really good. And the other thing is, and I'll put it with my recipe, that you might want to put at least another half a cup of pecans in there if you really like pecans, but they're good either way. But here they are. They're so good, and I hope y'all try them. Y'all may have some kind of little party coming up or just anything, and I think you're really going to like these. It's a good way to use up your pecans. Um, like I said, there's no Cairo syrup. Probably somebody's going to ask me, can I make just a, a regular nine-inch pie out of this filling? Yeah, you could. It's not going to bake as long as a regular uh, pecan pie, so you really have to watch it. These cooked 20 minutes in my oven at 350. So every oven's different, so you just need to watch them. I would check them. I would check them about 18 minutes. I would check them. And if you think they're going to be okay for another two minutes, then leave them in there. And uh, they're good. The crust is, is done. It's good and golden brown, and it's flaky. And the filling's just really good. So y'all try it. I hope y'all like this recipe. I'm so glad y'all were with me in my kitchen again. And uh, I'll be back in a couple days. Don't know what I'll be doing, but we'll be doing something. That's for sure. God bless everybody. Y'all take care. Y'all stock up. Stock your pantries. Take care of your neighbor and love each other.